Sorry guys, I had to come in to do short. I don't know, I have a lot of space on this phone. It's my dad. But I don't have a channel like this. On my phone. I have a completely different channel, but I don't want to upload on that one. Because the ones who that watch my videos are very loyal fans. And people that just find my videos, I want them to go to this channel, not that channel. Dang, this thing is massive in real life. Wait oh, seven months for this thing, and I'm. Dang, let's make sure everything's good. Yeah, I'll have to, like, re. like, open all that stuff later. But now to what I've been waiting for, for probably what I've actually been, like, expecting. Ooh. Awooga. We are about to make the first contact with the uh, first contact with the package. Dang, nothing is clean in real life. By the way, this can be major spoilers. I'm gonna show everything on this. I'm making sure to tilt the pack uh, my old package so you don't see my own address. Ooh. Surely a hug box, you choose. Almost everyone seems to agree that this year's big budget modern shooters have been incredibly disappointing. Games like COD, w uh, WW2, and Battlefront 2 just don't live up to the legacy of their predecessors. So what so what makes today triple A visually stunning shooters so much less memorable and compel? Don't really get it. <laughs> I don't really watch this guy. I watch most of the other ones called You're Welcome. Ooh Bent Box. I have to make a big fit about it. I love the packaging and it's very nice. I think it's removable from the glass jar. I'm not gonna test that out that much. It doesn't feel like it. I guess it's just the prototype, but yeah, that's pretty good on it. That's plastic, not glass. For people that are wondering. Uh I really like this figure, especially that little like the I forgot exactly what that symbol means. It means peace. So yeah, I really do like it. Uh, this was a guaranteed cop. I just didn't know when I wanted to buy it. But now I have the entire lunch club OG. <laughs> if you count this one as an OG lunch club, I'll get Techno playing next. Nope, forgot. I wanted to show everything off. When pigs fly, Techno plane hurls through the skies at 400 miles per hour. Behind it, it lies the world it has conquered. Victory. All part of my master plan. I'll get this all unboxed and show you guys. So now we got everything unboxed. It's a very nice figure. Personally, I don't really like Technoplane anymore. When I bought this, Technoplane was the best player ever. No one could ever beat him. Then Dream came along. Huge war. Technoplane still won, but everyone just forgot about him because... It's not really important to me. But I'm going to keep this guy. I kind of wish I had my OG and resold this one and not my, you know, originals. But this one's really nice, too. Um, if I had to buy again, I would choose Techno, uh, Techno Blade instead of Techno Plane. It was not that bad of a figure. And the delay codes are, were really nice, two of them. And if you're wondering why I got this one super late and this one kind of like in normal time, even though I actually bought this one super late, like the little last week before it sold out. Oh no, this one just got lost in the progress. Like it was just moving nice and steadily. And when it came to LA, bro, he was doing the Michael he was doing the Michael Jackson walking backwards or something. Well that's gonna conclude this uh today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will probably start doing more like
Among Us videos when I get all that screen recording stuff, figure out my mic. Right now I'm just using my phone mic, but that doesn't really pick up in like games and stuff.